Hi everybody, this is my version of how to properly cool your combustion engine using a redstone waterproof pipe to power it. Uh, to get started we're going to need a combustion engine, redstone engine, some kind of water, a pump or an aqueous accumulator, a lever, some one wooden waterproof pipe, uh, some gold waterproof pipe, a tank, wooden conductive pipe, golden conductive pipe, and one redstone waterproof pipe. Okay, let's get started. Place your engine however you want to have it. And you're going to hook up the redstone. And then a golden pipe. And then your wooden waterproof pipe. Uh, it's a good idea to keep a pipe in between these two. That way the redstone signal doesn't constantly power the redstone engine for the waterproof pipe and leave you with no way to turn the engine off. Okay, then we're going to put the uh, redstone engine. Power the wooden waterproof pipe, and we're going to add a tank to the top of that. And let's make it two tanks. More tanks are better. Then we're going to need to hook up our water source uh, to the tank, which I'm going to bring it out behind here. And let's get a water. Okay, now we have a never ending water source. Uh, use the aqueous accumulator, um, that way it doesn't drain the water. Um, but if you're on the edge of like a, an ocean or a pretty large water source, you can use a pump. Uh, the pumps do require a redstone engine in order to pump the water, though. And hook that up. It should start filling up the tank. And now all that's left to do is to hook up the power to our engine. Make sure you use a wooden conductive pipe to pull the power out. And then gold pipe. Let the tank fill up a bit. Oh yeah, we need some fuel for the engine. And now the tank's full, all we gotta do is put a lever on the back of this redstone engine, 
or you can put it anywhere you want. You make a block here. Uh, on the back just is easy. Turn the uh, engine on. Give it a couple seconds for the engine to warm up, and our engine is running. Now it's going off now as the pipe gets full, which it's going to fill up the engine first, and then the pipe. Uh, once this pipe gets totally full, the engine will run non-stop until the pipe actually drains. And there it goes, pipe's full, the engine's running. And the engine has complete water. Now if we were to turn this off, the engine would eventually use up this water. Um, it takes until it gets warmed up, I think. Um, but once the pipe starts running low on water, the red sense signal will shut off and the engine will stop running. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And let me know what you guys think.